Hey. So I was wondering the other day, how much can we really take for granted in this life? Because the reality is, we take a lot for granted. Considering food, for example. I mean, food is all around us. It's, it's, we eat it, we don't even think about it, because it's something we eat so often, something we use so often. It's just there. We don't think about it at all. And related to this is the fact that what's inside our food? Because as individuals that follow our religion, we have to be aware of what's inside our food and what's permissible for us to eat and what's not permissible for us to consume. Now, the fact is that many of us go around and forget this kind of stuff. Our marshmallows, our chips, does it have lard, does our candy have, have, have glucose or, or animal fat inside it, you know? So the question here is, what's permissible for our foods? Thankfully, we were able to catch up with a pioneering scientist in the field of halal food research. Uh, as a professor in International Islamic University, Malaysia, to me, I have at least three types of jobs. First is uh, as a teacher, second one is a researcher, and of course the third one we have to get involved in community service. So uh, to me, at the moment, I'm uh, having two types of research. First is uh, in that halal science area, it's quite a new area, a lot of challenges there. And second one, I'm also involved in the research related to natural products, anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, and, and other things from Malaysian local sources. So these two uh, research types of research give me a lot of challenges, uh, give not only me to my students as well. So how can, for example, for my halal science uh, study, how can we we develop a rapid method, for example, to to detect uh, non-halal um, uh, contamination in our food? And then also, how can we we develop a portable uh, device, for example, to detect uh, alcohol or ethanol in our drinks, so that people easily or consumers easily detect whether the the, the drink is halal or, or, or non-halal. And uh, for for uh, natural product research, uh, currently I got a project from the Ministry of, of uh, Agriculture from uh, Japan and from, from uh, OIC. Um, so the challenge here is how can we explore the potential of, of Malaysia? Yeah. Uh, so that we can uh, maximize our potential to produce something benefit to, to society. The rewards to me is, uh, you, you talk about the rewards, uh, satisfaction is number one. Yeah. If you feel satisfied with your achievement, it is a kind of rewards. Okay, but okay, but of course, yeah. If you do something good, if you achieve certain level of, of, of uh, in research and, and publication, somebody you will get automatically reward from many other parties. As a professor, it would be easier for you uh, to get promotion for some. Or you get recognition from local and international bodies. This is what, what, what I have received so far. Uh, where I got, I think, more than uh, 50, 40 or 50 awards. So this is when I won uh, Asia Pacific Young Scientist Award. I'm a scientist or researcher. To me, you need a qualification of at least master's degree. Yeah, I'm uh, in biotechnology. So if you want to work in this area, so you have a background, first degree in biotechnology, and also the master's uh, uh, in the same field. So you need to be hardworking and uh, willing to learn. So I think this is the key of, of uh, research.